go to notify you that lunch is to be purchased up till 11 o'clock, so you're too late. <laughs>
Now, let me share this, because there are some of you who do not have the handout before you. There are three key things that I want to make certain that I give you. Number one, I want to share with you what the High Performance Leadership Program is all about. What is the HPL? The HPL, you should get it. Oh, the HPL, don't miss that opportunity. What is the HPL? I want to give that to you. I would also like to make certain that I let you know what the skills are that the HPL will help to develop. You know in Toastmasters, you do what? We develop skills. Whether it's for communication, whether it's for leadership, we develop skills. So there are five, Toastmasters International considers them to be five vital skills that you will develop when you do the High Performance Leadership Program. So we will go through that today. And then last but not least, you want to know about the tools, right? Wouldn't it be helpful to know what you need in order to do this program? If you think that it will be helpful, say, it sure is. Yeah. It sure yeah. is. I want to make sure that you know about the three. There are three. Three core tools that you will need to actually run this program successfully. So in a nutshell, that is what I want to cover. I also want to make certain that I get through the content because we worked out a plan. Ken and I have established an opportunity to have a Q&A. I ask that the questions you have, you jot them down. And when we get to the Q&A segment, ask them during that time, because as we go through the content, your questions may end up being answered before we actually finish. And also for the sake of time, you know how time can get away from us. So I want to make certain that we can get through the important content. You can have the opportunity to ask your questions and you can walk out of here with enough information to make certain that you get started and not miss out on the opportunity. Fair enough? Yes. All right. Let's talk about what this high performance solution project is all about. The HPL is a project based program. Somewhere in your notes, somewhere in your handout, put down the word P R O J E C T. Project. Now let me ask this question. And I want to see your hands. How many of you, by your job, have on a business card the title project manager, project supervisor, project lead? Let me see your hands. Oh, great. So a few of you. This will be a cinch for you because you already know the project management principles. Yet the rest of you didn't raise your hands. So let me ask you this. How many of you? by show of hands, have ever planned a vacation. <laughs> Let me see your hands go up if you actually planned a wedding. <laughs> Anyone in here by show of hands was ever responsible for working on a team with other people who had some major objectives to meet and he assisted them with meeting those? And don't let me forget this. Is anyone right now in the midst of planning their family reunion? <laughs> <laughs> See? All right. Everyone, for the most part, at some point in time, you actually dealt with a project. A project. That's all the HPL is. It's a project. Now, here are a couple of things I want you to remember about it being a project. Number one, projects have definite start and end times. Number two, projects have lots of tasks that must be completed, and they must all have their own separate deadline dates. Third thing I want you to remember about a project is that a project typically is something that you are doing for the very first time that you've never ever done before. Or for some of you, it could be something that you decided you wanted to do to give it a try, and you're embarking upon it. It's new territory. And the last thing I would say is that a project, and this is from my own personal experience, a project has lots of details. A project has lots of details. Now, of course, there are other technical characteristics to a project, yet those were some of the core project characteristics that I wanted to share with you. And I want you to give me some feedback. Tell me what was the first characteristic that I shared? Starting and times. 
So if you want those, start here, it's ending here. What was the second characteristic that I gave you? Ah, and how many tasks did I say a project would have? Lots. Yeah, yeah, sometimes lots, lots of tasks. It could be as few as three, but most times, how many of you have ever worked a project with only three tasks? Good, no one in this room. So you know there would be more than at least 10 tasks involved with that particular project. 10 or more tasks. What was the third characteristic that I gave you? First time project. First time, first time. See, there are lots of people who are afraid to do something for the first time. Yet Toastmasters International rewards you for doing something for the first time. As a matter of fact, how many of you are first time club officers? <laughs> awesome. You know the secret? Do something for the first time that you will be rewarded for. And tell me, remind me one more time, what was that fourth characteristic that I gave you? Lots of details. Lots of attention to detail. Now, I'll talk about a way in which you can ensure that you don't miss the details, and that will come with one of the tools. So remember, detail orientation, detail orientation. And since my brain is going there, one of the other handouts that I provided to you, this checklist, came from my own brain creation with the help of the HBO games and also from experience. Notice it's what? Detail. <laughs> it's a checklist. It's a checklist to help you remember all of the details. I wanted you to have that because again, the detail is important and I wanted to give you a head start with that. All right, so in essence, that's what the HBL is. It's a project-based program. Now, keep in mind, you're going to need people to help you out. You're going to need two core teams. One of the teams will be your guidance committee, which I'll talk a little bit more about in detail. The other team you will need is what I call your action team. Your guidance committee, they're your advisors. Your <coughs> action team, they're the ones that will put their feet to the pavement and make that project become a reality for you. So you will be working with two sets of teams. And again, I'll go into more detail regarding your guidance committee, because International gives you resources to partner with them for this project, all right? Now let me say one more thing about the High Performance Leadership Project. And I want to say this about the High Performance Leadership Project being started early. So somewhere in your notes, put the word E-A-R-L-Y, early. We need to start from HBL early. Now that was part of the problem with my experience. Somewhere along the line, I knew the HBL existed. Don't get me wrong. I was an avid reader. I followed my manuals. Toastmasters International website, well, it didn't really exist during that time. <laughs> but I knew how to follow the phone number and get what I needed from headquarters. So somewhere along the line, I had in the back of my head here that the HBL existed. It wasn't until I got to the point where I needed the HBL, where I realized that the HBL requires a lot of work. HBL requires a lot of work. So started what? Early. Started early. All right. Now let's look at the handout for a moment. I want you to go over to, let's look at page number two. For those of you that have the handout report. Now I'm going to page two. And at this point, I want to talk about what the HPL will give you. In the scheme of things, you know, Joe's Masters International is progression, and everything happens within the scheme of the program. So here's how much you understand about where the HPL falls. Let me ask this question. How many of you have already received an advanced certification of some sort? 
Awesome. Yet, how many of you have not yet received a certification of some sort? Okay, a few of you. So let's go through the progression. When we all become a new, brand new Toastmaster member, we pretty much are looking to get what certification first? CC, which is? Competent communicator. And then the second one that we typically get is the? CL, which is the? Competent leader. Now within my club environment, the Way of Toastmasters Club, we believe that within the first 12 months, a brand new member should work to get those first two certifications. If you decide to move on somewhere else, you will be certified as a competent communicator and a competent leader. You'll have those first two certifications under your belt. Now we remember that CC and CL are what? Basic, right? They're basic. If you really want to stretch and if you really want to move, it's time to move to advance. So we move into the advanced panel. And we get the advanced names, and the first certification you can get as an advanced man, it, or as an advanced communicator, I should say, is advanced communicator bronze. Then you can get your advanced leader bronze. Then you will move over to advanced communicator <coughs> silver. And from there, you go to the advanced leader silver. Then It's when you're at Advanced Leader Silver that you will actually need your HBO. Now, you see that diagram at the top of page number two there? It has ALS, ALS. And did I just say ACL? Where did I? I made up something, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Never mind. You guys are looking at me like this. I'm going to be talking about those pronouns because I don't be in my head. So, anyhow, at the top of that page, you see that diagram. And in the center of that diagram, we have that A. ALS popping out. That ALS is popping out. That ALS is popping out because that's where the high performance leadership project falls. Now keep in mind there are four other things that are there, and those are reminders for you regarding the requirements that you'll need. First one is you must make certain that when you're in a progressional movement of getting your certifications, that you've got your CC. You've got your CL, you've got your ACB, you've got your ALB, you've got your ACS, and then you're working towards your ALS. Now, for the ALS, they want you to make certain that you've got your ALB. As a matter of fact, the way the system is with headquarters, when you submit your <coughs> certification online, you can't answer an ALS without having already completed your ALB. The system will kick you out. It will tell you, this person isn't qualified because they didn't meet the requirement of, so remember, get your ALB, you can still work on your ACS, yet in order to get the ALS, meet that ALB. Now, you also must serve as an officer. Start thinking. Start thinking about leadership roles outside of the district. Or not outside of the district because they never put you somewhere else, right? <laughs> outside of the club. There you go. Start thinking about leadership roles outside of the club. How many of you in this room right now have ever served as an area governor or a division governor? Awesome. Lots of people. Yeah. Anyone on the district team? Awesome. District leadership is what this is referring to. So minimum, at minimum, be an area governor. That's what I started with. Now when I was an area governor back in the late 90s, I should have been thinking about my HPL. I even went into the process of being a division governor the year following. Why didn't I do my HPL then? Not paying attention, not focus. As a matter of fact, when I did division governor, I know my mentor Charles Brooks said, Cassandra, you did such a good job of being the division governor with the central division that now you have two divisions within the central. He says the central division became so motivated, they've grown and have overgrown, and now we have the central north and the central south. 
and it's because of you, young lady, what you did when you were area governor, and what you did when you were division governor, that that happened. So why did I get HBO credit? <laughs> <laughs> Not having the plan, and that's what you're getting today. One other point I want to mention here, and I'm looking still at the top of page two, that first diagram. I'm looking at, you see where it's kind of, it's kind of hidden by that ALS, yet it looks like it says COA, meaning coach, S P O N, sponsor, and then M E N, mentor. mentor. So here's what Toastmasters International is saying. In order for you to receive your ALS, make sure that you coach, sponsor, or mentor another club. Is there anyone in the room right now who is a member of a brand new club? Awesome. Do your clubs have sponsors, mentors, and coaches? Good. Those individuals are being credit for their ALS. You can also do the same. As a matter of fact, remember when Ken read my intro? He said, Healthy welcome, Cassandra R. Lee, or Cassandra Bingo Dot Lee, sponsor, mentor, and charter member of the Right to Dash Farm Old Congress. Well, Toastmasters Club. When I started well, I did both of those roles, so that's why I was able to get credit. So start thinking about what clubs are being formed and how you can help them. And keep in mind, you may not get your ALS until three years from now. Yet right now, we need club sponsors, mentors, and coaches. Do the work now, because that work will pay off later. All right? And this is all about starting the HPO win. Early. Starting the HPO early. Now, let me jump to the second slide here on your handout. Five core skills that the HBO will help you to develop. Now, International says these are vital. These are vital. Vision, mission, goal setting and planning, developing strategies, as well as team building. Okay, now, if, if you have a handout before you, here's what I want you to do. Put a check mark by any of those skills, that you struggle with? Which of those skills do you struggle with? Do you have a problem developing visions? Are you not quite certain what a mission really is? Do you really struggle with setting a goal and working that plan? How about having issues working with other people? <laughs> <laughs> Which of these skills do you really struggle with? And here's why this is important for you to do this process now. When you are going through the HPL, you will be tested. You will be tested in all of these areas from a personal and professional standpoint. And when you're working with your guidance committee members, they're going to call you on the carpet on things as it relates to these different areas because again, it's about stretching and bringing you into a new level of leadership. So vision, mission, goal setting and planning, strategies and team building. Those are the five core skills that you will develop with working your HPL. And with working your HPL, you get manuals. Those are the tools. You'll see the next chart talks about the tools that you can use. As a matter of fact, your manuals come nicely bundled together. And I just purchased this this morning from the bookstore outside. You don't even have to go to the Toastmasters International website, log on as a member, click the shop button, and hit item number 262 to order the HPO manual. Now, this is what you're getting. When you order your manuals, you get three for your guidance committee, one manual for you. Your manual is basically giving you everything that you need to know on all five of those skills. And by the way, each of those skills are considered a separate project. So they're broken down in your manual as a separate project. Your guidance committee gets the same information, just in a condensed version, yet with an evaluation. So they get an opportunity to provide you with feedback on how well you're doing with each of those skills. Come, this is nicely long. 
As a matter of fact, I'll turn my head down, right down, item number 262. Item number 262. You want your manuals. Item number 262. $14 for the full packet. And I say, if they still have some today, go ahead and make certain that you order them. All right. Now, the second tool that I said that you need, and I'm going to go, if you have your handout before you, I'm actually going to go to the guidance committee next. Guidance committee. Guidance committee members, and actually, go over to page number three in your handout at the bottom. The bottom oh. half of page three. What are some of the characteristics or some of the assistance that the guidance committee will provide to you? That's listed there. Here's the bottom line. Make certain whoever you get on your guidance committee, make certain they know what they're talking about. <laughs> I also say, make certain that they've done a little something something. <laughs> now, does the something something need to be a Toastmaster something something? No. No. Because some of your HPL projects will not be projects that are Toastmaster related. So if you have some great mentors in your workplace, they can become a part of your guidance committee. Go to page number four, because I want you to take an opportunity to brainstorm for a moment. On page four, there's an area that talks about brainstorm guidance committee members. And here's what I want you to do. Put the numbers one through five. Put the numbers one through five. One through five. One through five. Now, here's the question I want you to answer with names of people by each of those numbers. Who do you currently have in your space that you would be able to connect with who would serve as great advisors for you with a project? Who could you connect with? Who do you already have within your space? Even if they're personal people or professional people, it doesn't matter the arena. Just keep in mind, you trust them, they will give you great feedback, they're knowledgeable, they are an excellent resource. Who would those people be? So I want to give you 30 seconds of silence to jot down five names. All right? Go for it.
Awesome, good. Now by a show of hands, answer me this question. How many of your teams were able to come up with projects that were work-related? No one is thinking about work. <laughs> <laughs> I see a few people, a few hands went up. How many of your teams discussed projects by a show of hands? Where your projects were primarily personal? Ah, a few more hands went up. Okay, good. Okay, good. Here's a key thing to remember, and I want you to go to the appendix page. And I'm looking here. I'm going to page number six. I provide you with several appendices in the back of this slide that gives you some additional information. And appendix C, appendix C, gives you some potential ideas. Did any of your teams come up with some ideas that were listed here? Good, good, good. Now remember what I asked you. If you've ever planned a wedding, that's an idea. If you've ever worked with your teams to complete a, an office operating procedures manual, that's a project. If your company has ever moved to another location, that's, enough, that's a project. So there are a variety of different projects, and keep in mind that this list doesn't make you think only about Toastmasters. All right? So it doesn't think only about Toastmasters. Now here's the final thing that I want to talk about before I close this down with content to open it up for questions. And of course I know I have to move, I have to move in. Yeah, in your handouts, go back over for me to page four. Go to page four. And again, for those of you who have not yet had a chance to download the handouts, they are accessible on the District 30 website as well as on the WAO website. You can download this handout. I'm going to page four, and I'm looking at the slide that says conclusion. Wrapping this all up, just to remind you a couple of things. Remember, HEL is high performance leadership. It is going to stretch your leadership skills in ways that you never imagined, because for the most part, you're going to be doing projects that many of you have never done before, yet embrace the experience. I also have said we're talking about this now because I want you to start early. Get started thinking about the projects. And even if you don't get your ALS until 2015, you have your HBO credit now. One other point here, because you guys can really read everything else that's here, but there's a point that I have not yet discussed. And can you see in that slide it says three points? See three points? Are you curious to know what three points mean? Yeah. Three points means Toastmasters International has a standard program called Outstanding Toastmaster Award. Many clubs will institute the point-based program to award a club member with an outstanding award. As a matter of fact, WAO has done it for three years. We awarded a WAO Outstanding Toastmaster of the Year. Well, when you do an HPL, you get three points in that program. Now, the three years when we did the award, we really didn't have anyone doing the HPL. So they didn't get points for that. Yet their points were high enough in other categories based on that Outstanding program. So I want you to jot down Outstanding Toastmaster of the Year. Outstanding Toastmaster of the Year. We see a variation of that at the district level when they give out the Area Governor of the Year or the Division Governor of the Year awards. We can do those type of of the year awards for our Toastmaster members and you will get HPL credit or HPL credit rather will give you three points in that program. All right. Bottom line, everyone, is don't miss the opportunity. And don't strictly think about Toastmasters. You are doing enough in your professional life where you can get credit. When I worked on those eight meetings in a year, I could have been getting HBL credit from my job for the HBL from Toastmasters. When I was starting my own business, I'm a business person. I could have been getting HBL credit from Toastmasters or start my business. Here's one final thing I want you to jot down. And I want you to find more details about this at the Toastmasters.org website. Jot down the phrase, Leadership Excellence Certificate. Leadership Excellence Certificate. That is the certificate that you will receive when you take that step, stretch your leadership skills, get your ALS, and even if you don't get your ALS, do the 
HPL and get that user certificate. All right. Thank you for listening, for participation, and for all of your feedback. Yeah, I'm looking for questions. Any questions that we can answer for you? Yes. I just have a curiosity question. How many of you get the manuals from the other gentleman's lab? Good. So you already have the HPL manual in your possession. You just haven't done a project yet. Okay, good. Let's do this. Give those people a round of applause. And I want to say the reason why I want to recognize them with a round of applause is because they are thinking about it. They have the material. Now they know how to move forward with it. Great. Thank you for that. Please stand Can you and speak up. HPL at the same time that you do your CC. Can you work on your HPL at the same time you're doing your CC? Yeah. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yes, you can. It was me being just starting the business it was a whole project. As long as I had created a, a guidance committee who I was consulting with along that way. They could have been giving me evaluations. They could have been giving me feedback. I could have used it as a project, because it was a project for our business, and I could have gotten HBO credit for it. Any other questions? Yes. Um, so to, to get your um, HPL or the, no, the ALS, um, do you have to be an officer at that particular time, or like say three years later, I get the, the ALS, but now I'm, a, I'm the um, sergeant at arms. So let's say I've only been sergeant at arms three years ago. Does <coughs> that apply to the ALS three years from now? It will. Yeah. It will. International is really good about record keeping. And as a matter of fact, I just discovered this last week when I went to submit an ALP award for one of my male club members. When it pulled up her officer role information, they were listing when she was an officer from the 2005, 2006 year and 2006, 2007 club year. So whenever you serve as an officer, that information will count. Yet here's the deal. Remember when you get your ALS, you are not doing leadership roles in the club. That's the big difference. You will not get credit for your ALS being your club president, being your club sergeant at arms. You must serve as a district officer. And a district officer begins at the minimal level as area governor. So you want to consider being an area governor first because that steps you out of your club environment in what I call an easier way. But you can still get your HPL without Yes, very true. Very true. Yes, yes. You're like, I want to know that you should grow I love that. Absolutely. You can still get your HPL, which leads into that leadership excellence certificate without doing the ALS certification. One last question. Yes. So we, we have the HPL uh, manuals, right? So we're keeping track of everything we're doing. Do we log all that information onto the website as well so that Toastmasters know everything we're doing too and tracking us over the Actually, here's one of the ways. And somewhere in the handout, one of the slides shows you, I think it's Appendix D or E or something like that. It shows you what's called the Member Achievement Record. This is hard copy format. They no longer do hard copy format of this. This document is now an electronic PDF document that you can type in to keep track of everything that you do. And here's the key. International wants to make sure that you have the things that you've completed. You want to keep track of what you've done. And this document allows you to do that in a more effective way. And it starts with the CC. So from the time you are getting a CC on through you becoming a DTM like I am, you can keep track of every nation role, every speech manual, basically everything. Now again, remember I said this is hard copy, yet you no longer have to print it out, go into the PDF. Member Achievement Record. Search this out, download it as a PDF for your computer, keep track because if you are moving from club to club, it'll help your VP of E's and all the clubs know exactly what you've accomplished thus far. Any other questions? 
Yes. ALS will lead you to the ACG, which will then lead you to the DTM. Now, here's my homework assignment for you. I want you to discover what's the ACG. All right. Ken. Hello, Toastmasters and guests. I want to thank you all. This is the end of the session. I hope you have learned a lot, or at least started these seeds of where you can go research. The HPL is a tough thing, so we've really covered so much in 30 minutes about it. But it's very self motivated, and I hope you all learned a lot today. Please make sure you sign this attendance sheet that went around a while ago. If anyone has it, there's one up here. And please, most importantly, fill in the evaluation form. The chair right by the door there, you can lay them on there. Or maybe a Fabian can stand up and then or give to me. That would be most helpful. That's <laughs> pretty well for us. And then make sure you got the handouts. So there's two handouts for the uh, Cassandra's card. You can make sure you got that as well. And on behalf of the District 30 leadership, we'd like to present him. One, one last statement. Remember, this video will be on timsvideo.com. Timsvideo.com is where all these will be presented. Within 48 hours, they'll all be out there for your viewing.